How long did it take you to realize, like, yeah, I have a bigger seat at the table now. Like, I can really put my thoughts out there. And I am at that same level where it's like yeah. I don't have to kind of be in the background anymore. Right. Um, how long did it take yeah, you Yeah, like, when did you that? get comfortable with it? Did it happen right away on this show? Did it happen at some other point before the show? Like, when did it finally hit for you? Um, I think I think just this year. This year has been, like, a, just an amazing year for me. And um, uh, I, I think it kind of started, like, with the show mm -hmm. Mrs. Fletcher that was kind of the first thing that I that I booked starting the year and then like I worked on this like amazing project um Quibi uh with Quibi um Jeffrey Katzenberg mm -hmm. the new uh, streaming, service, the new streaming yeah. service and um it's based off of like Dog Day Afternoon with like Lawrence Fishburne and cool. Stefan James I oh, play wow. his wife and nice. um Antoine Fuqua um uh executive uh, produced it um and I was in New Orleans, like by myself, didn't know anybody um, for there for like a month and a half. Wow, that must have been a wild so, experience. Yeah, yeah. And like, I think also, so that experience too, again, with like a bunch of men, mm. like the only like woman kind of like holding it down, you know, in, in that space. So just really like claiming my territory and like my space and, um, you know, again, doing like great work um, you know, acting with Lawrence Fishburne. Like, I mean, come on. Stefan James is really, really good, too. He's he's a great actor. So it's just like, just, you know, being in the space and being like, you know, put it, putting your feet on the ground and like, here I am. Yeah, you know? I, can, I can do this thing. I, I can ready. do this. Absolutely. So by the time Cyrano came around, I was like kind of in that space already. Mm. But it's different when you're, you know, when you're doing theater and sure. theater etiquette and, you know, always... Yeah, standing your ground, but also being humble and being nice to, to everybody, and you know, so. That's it's a great. Been a, it's been a big year. It's a it's huge year. It's been a big year yeah. of just like learning all of that and being being confident in that as well. Well, I feel like that leads nicely into this show here because with Mrs. Fletcher, I mean, you have a couple different characters that are kind of creating their own lane, taking their own authority. So, yeah. what has been the most interesting part of that experience for you? Um. What has been the most interesting part of Mrs. Fletcher? Um, I mean, the story of like you know the Jackson's character mm -hmm. who plays Brendan, and then his mom, and how kind of like porn has influenced them right. in like very very different ways. It's kind of empowered her as mm -hmm. a as she just got divorced and she's like living her life. And with Brendan, he doesn't really know how to treat women or how to have a relationship because all he does is watch porn all the time right. and that's how he interacts. So he meets my character, Chloe, and kind of like flips him around and he like doesn't know what to do and he's kind of like falling for her. It's really, really cute because like he's just so used to, you know, looking at girls mm -hmm. and being like, you know, do you want to go right, in the, the back? Thing, and, the yeah. Thing, yeah, and where she's like, no. She totally actually, calls his BS. Yeah, she's yeah. Like, no, she's just I'm not like, having this. No, like, <laughs> um, so it, it was just. It's really. I I really like like playing her, and mm -hmm. um, she's very like as you said, like woke. You know, she she uh, she has this like program. Um, where you know where she she brings him to this program mm -hmm. because his brother has like special needs and so she runs the program with with family members that that deal that have siblings or yeah with with special needs and she I don't know she just kind of like open opens his mind to to more things yeah. <laughs> there's so he much more that. than That's your little better. suburban town and he feels out of place and I think. He kind of feels really. I don't think he really knows who he is. No, you know, he's at still all. Still trying to figure that out. And he's still trying to figure that out. And I think she brings um, a little bit of himself out, and he kind of feels really comfortable around her. And he doesn't have to be a certain way, a certain way, yeah. or what everybody thinks that he should be. Right. And she's just like, "Come on, man, just chill just out, chill. just chill, exactly. just chill, just like be yourself." And you know, so it's it's it was cool. It's cool. Yeah, I mean, identity is a huge part of it for him. He's like yeah. the big man on campus in high school. Yeah. Mrs. Fletcher is obviously in a rough mm -hmm. spot in her life. And then they finally just start to change. So I know. what's it like kind of unpacking identity and, and some of that stuff with this show? Um, hey, I mean, I think we all kind of go through like who we are. And I think like, as I said, in this year, just kind of like unpacking and like 
staying true to mm -hmm. myself and grounded. And I think, you know, his character, he doesn't know who he is, right. and he's all over the place. And he meets her, and she knows exactly who she is. Oh, she's and fully she's formed. And she's very full formed and fully confident in who she is as a woman, you know, and also like as a person and, and who she wants to be. And she's constantly changing, and like that. That's so, and that's okay, mm -hmm. you know. So, it's it's kind of nice playing that person also like with what I've been going through sure. <laughs> this whole year as well. So I don't know. Um, it's been it's been a cool process, I guess. Definitely. Yeah. So how would you compare yourself now to where you were like when Hamilton's off Broadway? Like who was well, that woman? Who is that yeah. woman? What, what was Jasmine looking like then? Um Jasmine was uh, just so excited that that show was like her first Broadway show. Which is insane. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Yeah. Your first show yeah. was Hamilton, an all-timer. Yeah. yeah, 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 my first Broadway show. Um, and I, I was just trying to, at the moment, just trying to take everything in. Mm -hmm. That experience was such a whirlwind um, of like, there was so much that was happening like in, those, in that two year span and I was literally just trying to sink it. <laughs> right. Like just kind of soak it like all in, you know, and everybody was like, Jazz, like you might not know what's like going on at the moment because it's hard to like process <laughs> yeah. and you'll process it later. And I think I was just, I was literally just trying to, to soak it all yeah. in and, and realize like that this is happening, you know, because it, it was a show that like, you know, everybody's like, you know, you made history and it's part of history and it's like such a big thing, but it's true, you know? It absolutely is it true. It really is true.